Today we're going to talk about the three types of skin conditioning ingredients you'll find in your moisturizer, humectants, occlusives, and emollients. Like any great team, they're combined to improve the way a product works and feels when it goes on skin. It's also one of the factors that decides whether we end up calling a moisturizer cream, a lotion, a body butter, or a balm. Humectants come from the Latin word humectare, which means to moisten. They dial up the moisture content in the top layers of skin by attracting and retaining water. Humectants include some very common ingredients like glycerin, propylene glycol, and panthenol. Almost all have one thing in common, hydroxyl groups. This is glycerin, and it has three hydroxyl groups, one, two, and three. These OHs allow them to form hydrogen bonds with the water molecules around them. When it's humid, humectants attract water from the environment. But when it's dry, they draw water from layers beneath the skin. Humectants bind water to the surface of the skin and can leave it feeling a bit sticky. Our skin is semi-permeable, which means it allows stuff to pass through it. And it won't do us any good to attract water to the surface of our skin if it immediately evaporates into the environment. This is why you usually find humectants paired up with occlusive ingredients. Occlusives help maintain the water content of skin by forming a physical barrier that prevents evaporation. Ingredients that are known occlusives include petrolatum, cocoa butter, silicones like dimethicone, and lanolin. Unlike humectants, occlusives don't attract moisture. They just prevent you from losing it. So they are most effective when your skin is already damp or when they are combined with other humectants. Occlusive agents can leave a heavy or greasy feeling on the skin. Occlusives are frequently combined with ingredients to help improve the feel, which leads us to our last skin conditioner. Emollients are oils and lipids that smooth the skin surface and make it feel soft. Some common emollients are shea butter, jojoba, isopropyl palmitate, sesame oil, and almond oil. They do this by filling in the cracks in between by smoothing down the cell's rough edges. Many occlusive and humectant ingredients can also be emollients. An ingredient can do double duty. By combining emollients with different properties, formulators can tune the way a moisturizer feels, so you can get a rich and creamy body butter or a lightweight lotion. Now that you know all three skin conditioning agents, it's time to put that knowledge to work. If you have a body butter bar that's all emollients and occlusives but no water, use that right after you shower since the humectants aren't there to attract the moisture. If you have a product that's too greasy or too sticky, then change it up with a product that uses lighter emollients such as sunflower or almond oil. And if you have a product that's mostly humectants and it's a dry winter's day, you might want to swap it for something more occlusive to help keep the water where it belongs. If you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want to catch more beauty science, then don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.